and appreciate that report. Now to a North Texas televangelist under fire for her stance on the flu outbreak. Here's what she told her followers. We've got a duck season, a deer season, but we don't have a flu season. Was a Gloria Copeland, wife of well-known televangelist Kenneth Copeland. Her message, you don't need a flu shot if you've got Jesus. Here's Matt Howerton. And don't receive it. Gloria Copeland isn't a doctor. He bore our sicknesses and carried our diseases. Yet the televangelist is weighing in on one of the most deadly flu seasons North Texas has seen in years. I'll never have the flu. Speaking to over one million followers through her husband's ministry page on Facebook, Copeland vowed there is no flu season and that Jesus is a form of the flu shot. Jesus himself gave us the flu shot. He redeemed us from the curse of flu. And if you haven't caught the flu, Copeland suggests this. That's the way it's supposed to be. Just keep saying that I'll never have the flu. That's what I used to say. I'll never have the flu. I don't get sick. I never get sick. Julie Shelley isn't a fan of Copeland's message. Four years ago, the 52-year-old spent a month in the hospital and almost died when she got the flu. She says what Copeland is saying is dangerous and might prevent people from getting a flu shot or seeking medical help if they're infected. You just can't sit back and think, oh, I'm not going to get sick. You've got to do your part. I thought of witchcraft when I saw the video. Why is that? Because that's a witchcraft incantation is to repeat something over and over to try to make it come true. Pete Evans has investigated televangelists since the 90s. His findings have even been used on Capitol Hill. It's not uh, enough to say over and over, flu, go away, flu, go away. I rebuke you in the name of God. You're putting your health at risk. You're putting your health at risk. For months, WFAA has told you how to spot and tackle the flu. Tonight, the advice hasn't changed. Get a flu shot. And if you do feel symptoms, then of course they need to see a doctor. Shelley says praying is also OK. Go and pray, of course. But that's not the ultimate end all. You do your part. But adds it shouldn't be your only line of defense. When Copeland posted that video to Facebook, she also mentioned that her husband's ministry would be hosting a healing evangelist later on this month. And we reached out to the Copelands for comment about this story tonight. We still haven't heard back. Live in the newsroom tonight, Matt Howerton, Channel 8 News. All right.